Hello, this is a quick guide to the Being Agile Canvas. I'm Belinda and you can download the canvas at beingagile.co.uk. So the canvas is a great tool to help us to plan and manage our workload, monitor and review it and improve our workflow and our work balance. So in this video, we're going to give a quick guide to using the canvas. So on the left hand side of our canvas, we've got our new unplanned work for the future. So here you can see we've got an inbox for our inbound work and we've got some orange notes here that are representing new inbound work. And then we've got future work here and blue notes which are representing planned work. So things that we know we're already going to have to do in the future. So if you have a to-do list, then all the things on that list would be represented on each of these notes. On the right hand side of our board, we've got our current sprint and our work in progress. So we've got our to-do box and in our to-do box, we have the work that we've selected to do in our current sprint. Now for this video, we're gonna say our sprint is a week long. Uh, my sprints are usually around three weeks long. It does vary depending on project and teams um, and what kind of sprint you like really and what works for you. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just stick with a week. So everything we want to do this week goes into our to-do box. Um, and you'll also notice we've got a bit of slack in our to-do box as well. So this is for that inbound work that comes in. So things that are important and urgent. And that we've left ourselves a little bit of slack to deal with these things as they come in. Then we've got our doing box. So this is stuff that we're actually working on. So our active work in progress. So any work that we're actually working on at the moment, we will put here. And then we've got our done box, which is our work completed this sprint. So we capture our dones and that helps us to review and evaluate at the end what went well, what could have gone better, what have we learned, um, and any improvements that we might like to make. We've also got a waiting box here. Um, a waiting box is for where we've started a task. So we started working on that task, but it's become blocked for some reason. So we're unable to progress it. So it would move out of doing, down into waiting, um, which allows us to start working on something else. And then we also have our feedback box. And this is where we think we've probably completed a task, but we need to test it or we need to get some kind of acceptance for it before we can actually call it done. So it might have to be signed off or agreed by someone before we can actually call it done, done. Okay, great. So there's the board. So let's run through a little example. As I mentioned, we'll say our current sprint is just this week. Um, we've got a current backlog of work here. So we've got a number of things that we need to do. So we're going to pick from this backlog. What are the things I want to get done this week? So we'll pull these four activities across and say, right, these are the things I want to get done this week. And then we'll start our week. So we start our sprint. So we start working on one of those activities. That's great. That's moved into our active work in progress. And of course, um, we've got a couple of items that have dropped into our inbox here. So these new inbox items that we just need to review. So we're going to review these and look, are they important? Are they urgent? If they are, then we'll look and see if we've got some slack. And if we have, then we'll move it into our slack. If it's not urgent, not important, then really it needs to be parked. So that will go down into our future work um, for consideration for future sprints. So um, in this example, we've got one that is urgent and important and we've got room for it. So we've popped it in our Slack and the other which isn't. Um, and so it's moved into our future work area um, and become in essence a planned task. So let's carry on with our week. Um, so now we're today, we're doing our agile training. Here we are doing it and we're also working on that ad hoc urgent important tasks that came in and um, so we're getting that done we've completed that task that we started working on and by the looks of it we've started something else but that's got caught up in waiting 
Um, so we're going to progress again. So this is perhaps tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow we've got that ad hoc task completed. We've also completed off our agile training. Um, we've got this um, item stuck in waiting and we've got this one left to do. And then hopefully by the end of the sprint, we'll have all our items into our DOM box. Now that doesn't always happen, of course. So what can happen is things can get caught in waiting. So those items might have got caught in waiting. And at the end of the sprint, when we're reviewing, we can kind of look at that and go, ah, why did these things get caught in waiting? And what could we do next time to help alleviate that so that they are completed by the end of the sprint? Or are we, were we a little bit ambitious in terms of wanting to get these things done within the week? We might also have this kind of scenario where actually we didn't get a number of things started. So there might be a number of reasons for that. We might have overplanned our sprints so given ourselves too much to do. Um, or indeed this ad hoc task that we had that we thought was quite small actually might have turned into something quite big. Um, and therefore that stopped us getting these items done. So we can really use this to inform our future sprint planning to see, you know, if we're over planning, if we're over giving ourselves too much work, then we can try and look at limit that, see what balance of work we've got. You know, if all of these have been orange, that would have mean that we've got any of our planned work done um, this week. So we can really use the board to help track and manage and monitor our work and then look at ways that we can improve the flow and improve our mix of work. So just wanted to show you a quick little example. So this is a lovely little example of um, during lockdown, um, we had a home school. Um, so we set up a board to help us to track all the things that our teacher was giving us to do. Um, this really helped me and my partner um, manage that work between us. But actually, um, Harris took this on and became quite self-organising, self-managing. So I would add the things to his future work and then he would look at what he was going to do. So this is just a day to day one. So you can see here the backlog is just for the week. What we know, what we know is coming. Um, this is today's work. So what he needs to do, what he's doing. Um, what he's waiting on so we needed some materials for this science experiment so it got stuck and then things that he's completed and you can see here he started adding his own to this quite early on when we started using it um, and um, his done box and then we've also got a little jar down here you can see which is where we put all our done items um, and by the end of lockdown this was really full so that was a really nice thing to be able to see that how much he'd learned over um, lockdown um, so really nice little simple example hopefully to inspire you um, I really love physical boards I think they're great using post-it notes really tactile but if you are working remotely there are some really great digital tools now as well that we can use like Trello and, and others so that's it that's a quick guide to the agile canvas you can download it at beingagile.co.uk um, more videos um, available as well on um, more tools, more techniques and guidance on being agile. And um, thanks very much for watching.